Good day everyone. So our topic for today para sa ating heat transfer will be the continuation of conduction. But yung pinag-usapan natin nakaraan is conduction through composite walls and conduction to a single wall. So coming from a hot liquid or even a hot ambient uh, surround a uh, hot surroundings transfer of heat will occur okay that is sabi ko nga from con- sa conduction natin that heat transfers from one hot body to the cold one dito sa conduction through pipes since uh, ang pipes natin nagco-contain niya ng fluid and when fluid transport is uh being done, hindi naman lahat ng liquid natin pwede nating i-transfer yan as is. Ano ibig mo sabihin, sir? Yung liquid mo ita-transfer mo at room temperature or normal temperature, hindi pwede yan. Kasi, when liquid is transformed, uh, transferred or transported using pipelines, yung liquid na yun that came in contact with pipings, hindi lahat ng pipes, uh, walang friction. Well, to tell you frankly, all of the pipes na kung saan uh, ginagamit to transfer yung fluid from one point to another, it creates pressure imbalances to the liquid and the friction is uh, created when liquid to the solid came in contact with another, with one another. Okay? Kware, yung piping mo, andyan yung oil mo. Okay? Hindi man pare-pareho yung oil mo at 15 degrees Celsius, it transfer mo from one point to another in a mile. Okay? Ilang mile per kilometer. Okay, alamin niyo yan. So, pag transport mo yon, ang mayayari is it will gain heat. Bakit po? Dahil sa friction. Sa ang friction, sir? Yung friction na yon is yung result ng contact with the fluid and the solid material na gawa yung iyong piping. So, anong ginagawa natin as engineers? So, as engineers, we combat the effects of the friction dun sa pipes and karaniwan, ikinukondisyon natin. Ano ibig mo sabihin na kinukondisyon? Ibinababa natin yung temperatura ng liquid na nandyan sa loob na yan. In case of the oil. Okay? What if, sir? Steam lines. Yan. So, sir, yung steam lines, di ba, to build up pressure. Okay? To build up good pressure and combat any losses in pressure dun sa steam na nakapaloob sa yung piping, maintain natin yung temperature ng steam na yon. And how? We create insulation dun sa pipes na yun. Hindi lang siya bare metal pipe. So, ang ginagawa natin, binabalutan natin siya ng ano? Asbestos? Binabalutan natin siya ng ano? Ah, polyurethane? Foam? Para hindi siya magkaroon ng heat losses. And to maintain the heat that is contained dun sa steam na yun. Kasi once na nag ng heat, it loses temperature, bababa ang temperatura, and it loses the required steam pressure. Diyan papasok yung conduction through pipes. Well, by definition, in conduction through pipe, assume that heat flows in the radial direction from the inside to outside surface. So, ibig sabihin, yung heat is contained inside the pipe and it travels from the hot side to the cold side. Okay? And, after nun, i-consider din natin yung film coefficients nung ibabalot sa kanya and then the surrounding or the ambient conditions kung maapektuhan ba yung heat losses dun sa pipe. Okay? That is the notion of conduction through pipes. Now, papaliwanag natin, Sir, paano po naging pareho yan? Dun sa conduction to composite walls and the conduction through walls. Now, let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me uh, describe it to you like this. <clears throat> now, if you have this pipe here, okay, 
And what if yung pipe na yan hinati natin? O kaya hatiin lang natin sa isang point yung pipe. Mare, ito ito. Hinati natin siya. Okay, as you can see, yung pipe na yan, kapag nilay down mo, ay, para ring walls yan. The problem is, this is circular. <clears throat> okay, if you get my point. And, this is the thickness. Okay? Yung pipe na yan, kapag inirolyo mo, ang lalabas dyan is a circumferential measure. And, in your circumference, paano ba natin yan kinukuha? Okay? This is pi d. Now, yung haba niyang pipe na yan, multiply mo din yun. Okay? Itong haba niya in terms of L, length, and then yung circumference na meron ka dyan, consider mo yun. And then the thickness. Now, dun po papasok yung area ng piping na yun. And using yung kung ano niya, yung derivation niya, which is uh, pinagmulan niya is yung Fourier din, where the length that does not change and the circumference does not change, okay, what only changes? The temperature. <coughs> Now, we derive this formula where kung sakali, pag-usapan ulit natin yung composite wall, that is equal to katex, di ba? Katex. <clears throat> Now, when we're talking about pipes, it is equal to Q, kunin mo yung area. Yung area in contact with. Okay? The area in contact with is simply 2 pi L. Sir, bakit ganyan? Pi L, yan yung haba. Okay? Yung haba, no? Nasaan na punta yung iyong radius? Since yung radius mo is magkaiba, consider mo yung thickness, di ba? The thickness. And yung thickness then is the result of the two radices that is changing. So, ln ng R2 over R1. Multiplied to the, what do you call this? Thermal coefficient ng iyong material na bumabalot dun sa pipe or kung saan made yung pipe mo, multiplied to delta T. And this is the general formula for the conduction through pipe. Pipe lang yan, ha? What if yung pipe mo is covered? Okay? Covered siya. Composite din yung pipe mo. Hindi lang single yan. Okay? Hindi lang single. May nakabalot pang isa dyan. May nakabalot pa ulit na isa. Okay? So, we'll go with this. The general formula. Where RT is the total resistance nung lahat ng material na nandun. Okay? Ito yan. You can consider the outer and inner diameter, but I always recommend to consider yung radice para hindi ka nalilito. Okay? Pwede naman i-consider mo yung dalawang inner at outer diameter, but it is best for you to consider yung radice na meron doon. Now, kapag composite pipe, okay, meron kang dalawang uri ng material na nakabalot dun sa pipe mo. Magpalagay natin, For steady state heat transfer, we can say that the total resistance or the total heat that is encapsulated on that pipe is equal throughout. Where Q1 is equal to Q2 and equal to QT. Where that is the total heat that is transferred throughout the pipe. Coming from the inside or the hot body or the hot fluid going outside to the cold side. Now. Let us see. Q equal to delta T over RT. Ito yung pinagmulan niya. And let us derive. From here, okay, T1. From here, T2. From here, T3. Ano yung dulo? T1, T2, T3. Kapag itong kinonsider mo, T1, T2. Pag kinonsider mo yung T2, T3, That is equal then. Okay. Same lang naman. Okay. What if we consider from the inside to the outside? Oh, doon na po papasok yan. That is the total heat resistance or the total heat that is encapsulated on that piping. So, T1 minus T3. That is delta T. And RT, tandaan nyo ha, 
Arti, sir, magkahiwalay pa rin yan. Yes, dalawa magkahiwalay yan. Ito, and then ito. So, that is LN nung R2. Sir, nasaan yung R2 na yan? From here, up to here. That is R2. Divided by R1. Nasaan yung R1 na yan, sir? Yung R1 na yan is from here, up to here. Divided by 2 pi. Yung resistance ng first material. Divided by L. Actually, constant yung L mo dyan. Mamaya, papakita natin. Divided by LN. R3, nasaan yung R3? From here up to here. Nasa dulo. Dulo-dulo. R3. Ano yung kasunod niya? Dapat R2 yan. Divided by 2 pi K2 L. Sir, may napansin ako. Di ba itong dalawang to? Parehas lang. Sir, hindi ka-cancel mo ba? No. Actually, pwede mong gawin ganito. Q will be equal to, i-factor out mo to, at iakyat mo dito sa taas. 2 pi L T1 minus T3 divided by LN R2 over R1 divided by K1 plus LN R3 over R2 divided by K2. Now, kapag composite pipe, ganito lang siya. Dalawa lang nakabalot dito. Ha? Paano pag tatlo? O dagdagan mo, may t 4 tapos ito, dadagdag mo ang isa plus LN ng R2, ah, ng R4 over R3 divided by K3. O, and so on. Ganun lang po. This is the general formula for composite piping. Okay? Yan po yung notion. Okay? O ito, tulad nito, i-derive ko rin. Ilan ng material yan? Tatlo na, okay? I-consider mo rin. Eh, sorry. I-consider mo rin po yung film coefficients inside and outside, 'di ba? Yung HO tsaka HI. O, pa palo natin dito. O. Magpalo diyan. Q equal to ilan dapat 'yan? T1 o T inside minus TO divided by unahin natin si film coefficient ni inside HI area ni I. Sir, ano po ba yung area ni I diyan? Ayun, 2 pi RL. 2 pi L. Pwede mo rin i-factor out yan. O, maya na. Plus, yung nasa loob na piping, si R2 tsaka si R1, o, di LN, R2 over R1, over 2 pi K1 L. Plus, LN ni R3 over R2, divided by 2 pi K2 L. Plus, inside to, outside naman, film coefficient, 1 over H O A O. O, palagay natin. Nandito yan, naka-indicate ha? Ito, naka-indicate. 2 pi R L, yung area ni I, area ni O. So, pwede pa natin siyang, okay, pwede pa natin siyang i-factor out. O, sabahin mo dito. Q will be equal to 2 pi L T I minus T O over 1 over H I plus L N ni R 2 over R 1 divided by 2 pi K ang galin mo na to kasi pinaktor out na natin o K K one na lang yan K one plus L N L N ni R 3 over R 2 Tapos, K2 plus 1 over HO. Considering yung convective, convective film coefficients of the inside and outside conditions. Ayan. For composite piping. Very basic. Okay? Dinerive ko na sa inyo. So, what better way for us to understand it is to solve it. So, let us solve the following problems i cut ko na ito ilipat ko lang siya sa ibang page so let us take a 5 minute break muna 
And after this, we will solve the following problems. Okay, five-minute break. <laughs> 